When we came out during the day, there weren't many people on the beach. Come the evening time, however, this is the time when the locals come out. You can probably hear in the background people revving their engines, uh, scooting around on the very, very hard sandy beach on their motorbikes up and down. Good fun. And we've just come to the busiest restaurant, which is uh, packed. Not much on offer in the way of drink. I think we've, we're getting water, but uh, Liz has just chosen two fresh fish that we're going to have, which we're looking forward to. And at the end of the day, what better place to end up than on a three mile beach, just sitting here drinking fresh coconut with the locals while the guys play football, the girls play volleyball and everybody parades on a Friday afternoon. This morning we are leaving Jamaja, which is the western main island of the group. Um, we're heading over to Tarempa, which is the capital, uh, where we have to check in. Now, for the last few days we've been sitting here and it's been blowing pretty strong from the southwest. So we thought we'd have a nice sail. Wake up this morning, nothing, not a breath of wind. It's really quite hot, it's very still, although there are clouds forming in the sky over there. We have been entertained by rays. Uh, lots of rays have been um, circling around the boat and every now and then they'll jump out the water. Can't catch them on camera unfortunately because the only warning you get is when you hear them break the water and then if you're quick enough you turn your head and you catch them gliding through the air and then dropping back into the water. But sort of every half an hour or so, could be the same ray, could be a family, don't know, but they've been all around this bay just jumping out which has been great. Anyway. Just packing up and uh, ready to go. Liz, in her bright, garish top, <laughs> has a plan B. Yes, plan B is that we do leave here, but we just go to Talaga, which is only 15 miles away. So if we've got a motor for 15 miles, it's not quite so bad as having to motor for 35. And uh, we wait, that also means we can wait a little later. So we might get a little, little bit of um, wind a bit later on today, but we can get to Talaga and then we can wait there until we get some wind. And then we can go to Tarempa from Talaga. So just trying to reduce the amount of uh, motoring. So we've left the anchorage and a bit of toing and froing. We've found a course that's giving us enough wind to sail. We're making just over four knots right now and we're heading towards Talaga. So it's about 15 miles and it's only 10 o'clock. So we should be there in plenty of time if it carries on like this.
This is exactly what I imagined sailing in the Anambus Islands to be. As you can see, it's a fair day. Pretty much every single type of cloud that you can imagine is in the sky all around us. And we've just got nine to 10 knots, a fairly close hauled, all the sails are out. We're doing a healthy four and a half to five knots. This truly is fair winds and uh, calm seas. Liz just doing the honours there with the anchor. We've got to our next location. So this is Talaga. The main island is called Talaga. We're kind of in between Talaga and a couple of other islands. Surrounded by reefs. We've got a reef just in front of us. Uh, not much room to anchor here. There's probably only enough for two boats, which is just as well because our new friends, uh, Peter and Helena, are actually on their way behind us. So I think they're probably going to be stopping here as well. So um, anchor's down nicely. Got a bit of weather coming in over there, but not sure whether it's going that way or that way. Difficult to tell, but uh, take a look at this. So I just swam from the boat to the reef and the first thing I saw as I started to see the uh, seabed was a ray. Very nice, just drifted past. back to the boat. Looks like we have a visitor. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Woke up this morning thinking about kayaking, snorkeling, taking photographs, filming in this beautiful bay in uh, Talaga and the weather's like this. So we gave it three hours and the weather's still like this so we thought the best thing to do is probably leave there and go and check in at the island just across the way, it's about three hours away and that's uh, at um, Tarempa. So that's where we're headed now. We've got very little wind, it's about eight knots of wind. Uh, we've got the preventer out, four sails out and uh, we're making about three and a half to four knots. So we've got, we've got plenty of time, so we're just gonna hang on here. Well, it's all rather confused at the moment. We had a southeasterly which was blowing 
that school, can you see that one? Him, uh, towards us. And then we had a big front building up over there in the sort of northwest. And then we had the big huge cloud behind. Uh, and the wind's completely changed direction. It's suddenly gone from uh, southeasterly to, what is it? Northwesterly. And uh, you can probably see above, dark cloud, dark cloud, dark cloud, squall, squall. Everywhere. It's kind of, uh, it's a bit weird actually. So here we are, this is Tarempa. It's uh, a little bit overcast, it's raining in fact, so I won't talk for too long because the camera's getting wet. First impressions is it actually reminds us of uh, Darjeeling in the Himalayas. Uh, you've got this uh, central town set in amongst uh, a little valley, uh, lots of misty mountains going on, what with the uh, crappy weather we've been having, interesting sail over. A bit of a shock to the system this, you know, having been tucked away in a little bay in the middle of nowhere with no one around to come to this. It's quite busy, we've got lots of, uh, well, Indonesian versions of long tails buzzing past, speedboats going past. There's a few other boats at anchor just down here who we've met before, uh, plus an extra one. And then there's a call to prayer going off over there. And interestingly, one of them is, sounds like a, it actually sounds like a woman, but it wouldn't be. So we're guessing it's a young boy and he has an amazing voice. Lovely buildings here. Um, there's this kind of harbour wall, elevated walkway or road here uh, with these beautiful buildings on the side here. Uh, we should really check in today, but it's now four o'clock already and I don't think it's gonna be worth it. So uh, we'll see how we go. One other thing, anchoring here was terrible. Uh, it's notorious for bad holding, it's full of rubble and coral and uh, quite difficult to set the anchor and in fact um, the anchor did grind along the floor for quite some way um, but it, it, it eventually bit but uh, I'm hoping it bit in sand and not um, on a concrete slab. So anyway that's enough for the moment, gonna eat, have a little drink and uh, just have a nice rest and tomorrow we will go and explore the town itself. Oh,